Algebra 2, Unit 3, Lesson 4, Solving Systems of Equations Algebraically. We're going to solve using two methods. One we've already used before, that's substitution, and then the other method is called elimination. Both methods are useful to know. Sometimes one is easier than the other. So if you have two unknowns, you need two equations. If you happen to have three unknowns, you would need three equations. If you have ten unknowns, you need ten equations. We're going to start off with two unknowns and two equations, and later on we'll do three unknowns and three equations. Any higher than that would work just like the three variables, more difficult the more unknowns that you have. A solution is an ordered pair of values x, y that make both equations true. If you get a statement again as you're solving and it's never true, there's no solution. If you get one that's always true, like 3 equals 3, there would be an infinite number of solutions satisfying the equation. You would need to figure out exactly how to write those infinite solutions. So method 1, substitution. Again, this is easiest when you have it written as a y equals or an x equals, one of your equations. doesn't matter which one. And then you're going to take one of them and substitute into the other equation for that variable. And then you're going to solve in terms of that one variable that you have. So it's taking a two variable equation and when you substitute you'll get a one variable equation which you have to solve. Once you have the first variable you'll go back and find the second variable. So we have 3x plus y equals 3, 2x minus 5y equals minus 15. We want to look for basically one with a coefficient of 1 if there is. So the one with a coefficient of 1 is this one. I want to rewrite that to get y equals. I would subtract the 3x from both sides to get y is equal to minus 3x plus 3. So now that I know that y is in that, in the other equation, not the one I rewrote, instead of that y, I can write minus 3x plus 3. So now I have 2x minus 5. I want to write instead of that y, I put minus 3x plus 3 equals minus 15. And now you're going to solve that one variable equation. You would distribute the minus 5 to those two parts, combine the like terms, take the separate numbers to the other side, and then divide by your 17 to get x equals 0. Since you know x equals 0 and y is minus 3x plus 3, if you put 0 in there, you get out of 3. The solution is 0, 3. I suggest that you double check. Always a good idea. If you put a 0 here and a 3 here, does that give you 3? Yes. If you put 0 here and 3 here, does that give you minus 15? Yes. Then you're sure that you have a solution. For this one, we have x minus y is equal to 12, 4x plus 5y is 120. We could actually rewrite in terms of either variable. I'm going to choose the x. I will add the y to both sides and get x is y plus 12. Then in this equation, I can, instead of that x, I can substitute y plus 12 to give me 4 times the quantity y plus 12 plus 5y is 120. Again, you're going to distribute the 4 combine like terms and take that minus 48 to the other side, then divide both sides by 9, you get y equals 8. Since I know y is 8, go back and put it up here, x is 20, the solution will be 28. Is 20 minus 8 12? Yes. Is 4 times 20, which is 80, plus 5 times 8, which is 40, 120? Yes, it is. You can guarantee that that is your solution. Elimination. We don't worry about having a 1 in front of them. What we're going to do is we're going to multiply 1 or both equations by different numbers to get the coefficient of one of variables the same in terms of absolute value. So either I need 10m and 10m or 7x and minus 7x, so the same in absolute value for one variable. And then we're either going to add if the two numbers had opposite signs or subtract if they have the same sign in order to eliminate the variable we will again have a one variable equation left which we can solve and then we'll go back and substitute to find and solve for the other variable. So I have 2m plus 4n is equal to minus 4, 3m plus 5n is equal to minus 3. I'm going to get rid of the variable m, so I want these two to match. I can multiply this one by 3 and this one by 2, that would give me a 6 in front. I can get rid of n, I could multiply by 5 here and 4 here, they would both then be 20. Either way works. I chose to get rid of m. I multiply the first whole thing by 3, both sides. would give me 6m plus 12n equals minus 12. So technically this isn't right to put parentheses. Technically it's one side here and one side here. You're multiplying by 3, but I will allow you to write that as I have here. Then you're going to double everything here. That would give 6m plus 10n is equal to minus 6. 
now that those match again you don't have to rewrite them yourself but in order for me to show you what i'm doing i have rewritten them these two have the same sign so how will they be eliminated is if i take one of them and subtract the other one i could do it in either order i just need to take one and subtract the other one since this one's at the top i'm going to subtract the other one 6m minus 6m cancels 12n minus 10n is 2n and then minus 12 minus a minus 6 is minus 12 plus 6 so that gives you minus 6 you divide everything by 2 is n is minus 3. now that you have n equals minus 3 pick either equation and solve for it i put it the first one i'm going to put n is equal to minus 3 in that equation that gave me 2n minus 12 is minus 4 sorry add 12 2m is equal to 8 divide by 2 m is equal to 4 and then how do you know which order to put we always put them in alphabetical order, M, N. So typically it's X, Y, but if you have two other variables, they're going to go in alphabetical order. M will come first, N will come second in the ordered pair. If I want to solve this one, again, you can get rid of either variable. In this, if I want to get rid of X, I only have to multiply this one by 4. If I want to get rid of Y, I would have to multiply this by 3 and this by 5. I'll choose this one to get rid of the x by multiplying this by 4. So I keep the first one unchanged. Multiply everything in here by 4 to get this. And now these have opposite signs. The only way they're going to cancel is if I add them. So I'm going to take those two equations and add what I have. 8x plus a minus 8x, they cancel. Minus 5 plus 12 will give 7y. 11 plus a minus 4 is 7. Divide by 7 gives me 1. Go back and substitute in either equation. I picked the first one. Solve for x, that gives you 2. Again, we put them x, y. 2, 1 is our solution.